Hey guys, welcome back. This is Girl Talk talking about sports, and we're your sports bros. This is Chelsea Torres and Denise Cabello. All right, so it seems nowadays you can't say anything right. Mm -hmm. Everything you say has backlash to it. Even, of course, Men's Health magazine, <sighs> though. I know. It, you're run by men, so of course you're not going to say anything, right? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. Yeah, so they had a really big issue the past couple days. Mm -hmm. um, they came out with an article. This is their tweet to introduce the article, and their article was named How to Talk About Sports with Women. Um, they actually took down the article now, uh, <laughs> and it was, it was just all these different stereotypes basically yeah. saying how you don't need to be talking about statistics with women because they won't understand they wanted the women they want to know about the story behind the players and the athletes and how they supported their wife and this and that nobody really cares <laughs> sometimes oh my gosh Denise it's, what's your take on it? okay I, I get what they're saying because I do think women are do invest in stories mm -hmm. I think we are storytellers and I like telling stories my take on stats is I'm not really interested in stats unless it's like a good stat, mm -hmm. like a triple-double in a basketball game or something like that, or, you know, like some breaking records or right. something like that. Otherwise, I'm not too interested in, you know, Johnny went 7 for 10, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, unless it's something really good, then I'm not too interested about it. I am not really offended by it. Mm -hmm. I think when I was younger, I would get offended by a comment like this because I had a guy that I was dating that told me he didn't talk about sports with women. Rude. Whatever. But um, as I get older and I learn more about sports, I'm like, you know what? If they want to think that, that's fine because you just lost half of your viewers right. that are women or half of your readers that are women. They're never going to buy that magazine, never going to give it to their boyfriend exactly. either. What do you think about it, though? I think... Uh, Again, I'm not really offended by it. A lot of women were very offended. My mm -hmm. thing is, though, I like stats, but that's just because that's who I yeah. am. I like it. I'm really into fantasy football. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be starting fantasy basketball this season. I'm Ooh, super psyched. Fun. Yeah. So I like stats, but I'm not going to go around and, you know, talk about it with yeah. people and be like, hey, did you watch the game last night? Did you see how many yards? You know, yeah. I, I'm not about that. When appropriate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I get it. So, I think every person is different, mm -hmm. obviously. There's been many women that I've met that are into stats or they don't really care for, you know, stats in general or they just pay attention to a certain team or pay attention to one sport. Mm -hmm. But there's so many men that I've met that don't even care about stats in general. So I think the way that Men's Health Magazine came about it was just wrong. Yeah. Um, they obviously took down the article. <laughs> you can't see it anymore, but uh, a lot of people have obviously, you know, backlashed yeah, against definitely. it. Definitely. I, and I mean, I think any woman that is offended by it has the right to be offended by it, but I think in this industry, we can't really get offended by anything. Right. Otherwise, we'd be offended all the time. Well, and to go <laughs> off of that, right now, I mean, there's been so many women that have come into mm -hmm. sports and yeah. made huge impacts. Um, right here, Becky Hammond, obviously with the Spurs, everybody knows. Uh, there's Michelle Roberts and then Monet Davis. You can't forget these ladies. Yeah. They have made such a huge impact in mm -hmm. sports recently. It's kind of hard to come out with an article and say, you know, we're just going to talk about stories mm -hmm. and the background about these athletes. I would be interested to see how old the writers of this article were because I think that maybe a more old school mm -hmm. feel on, on women in sports and the more recent trend yes. is women breaking into the men's world of sports right. and as you can see by the three ladies we just showed, it's becoming more relevant it as is. we go on. Yeah. It is. It's a lot more common now. Mm -hmm. um, women's sports is getting a lot bigger. Not sideline reporters. There's. Exactly. I don't think I've seen a guy sideline reporter in, a in while, forever. Right? Yeah. I know it's been a uh -huh. while. So women are making an impact mm -hmm. and that's how it's going to be. It's going to continue to be like this. Um, there's supposed to be talks of an all women's talk show about sports on CBS. Don't you don't say. Yeah. What are we doing now? <laughs> hmm. Give us a call. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we'll be waiting. <laughs> so, so how well how did men's magazine uh, health magazine handle this? Like what did they do? Well, they retaliate? actually came out with a tweet and they basically just apologized. Um, you can mm -hmm. see this right now. <laughs> they had a part one, Talks part two. Uh, again, they did delete it, and of, of course, as you can see, they didn't mean to offend anybody, so which funny. I understand. I'm sure they didn't mean to offend anybody. Yeah. It's like their take, like the Cosmo magazine has like 21 ways to snuggle with your hubby, yes. and this is like their version of it. Yes, yeah. and see, that's the thing. If it was flipped around and it was on a Cosmo magazine, it would not yeah, be that's like true. this. It would not be Women like this. writing about it is different than men it writing is. about it. Big How time. funny. Big time. Well, we want to know what you think about it, so definitely comment let below us know. and let us know what you think. But why don't we end the day with a little feel-good story?
Yes, I got? love this. And I'm sure you've seen this now. This is going viral. This is little J.P. Gibson. He was signed to the Utah Jazz for one day uh, for a scrimmage game, and they actually brought him out in the game. We'll go, and we'll go ahead and show how this works out. This is so cute. I almost want to cry watching this. I know. It makes me cry. <laughs> Stereotyping women right now. <laughs> look how cute so look at him go. Play some dribble, dribble, dribble. <laughs> They're playing very well D. They're trying their hardest, but look he's just that. so good. I know. Nobody can and dribble the way he go can. Up for the dunk. There it is. Dunks it. <laughs> yes. And then the crowd goes wild. I just love how he gives his little high fives. Look at him. Uh, high five. He's like, no big deal. <laughs> I got this all day, every Too cute. day. So we have, hope you have a good day with that. Follow us on Twitter. This is at I'm Chelsea Torres, and I'm at Denise Cabello TV. Stay tuned for another edition of the Sports Bros.